Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today we'll be doing a driving lesson on filter traffic lights. However, before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all our subscribers because without you guys, this video today would not be possible. So thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe now so that you do not miss out on future videos. So let's get started with the lesson. Filter traffic lights. In order to understand filter traffic lights, it's important that we understand regular traffic lights first. So let's spend a minute or two talking about regular traffic lights. We've got the regular set of traffic lights. The red signal means stop. We must stop at or before the white stop line. After red, the color changes to red and amber together. So both lights will be on. Red and amber once again means we must stop. We must remain stopped at the line and not proceed until the light is changed. The next color will be green. Now green tells us that we can go if it's safe to do so and we can go in any direction we want. We can turn left, we can go straight, we can turn right provided road signs or road markings do not prevent us from doing so. After the green signal, it will go to steady amber, amber on its own. The amber light means that we must stop at or before the white stop line. The amber signal is a stop signal. However, there are two exceptions when we can go through amber. The first is if we are already over the white stop line. And the second <clears throat> is if we feel that by stopping suddenly, we may cause an accident. So those are the two reasons that we can go through amber. Otherwise, we must stop at or before the white stop line. The amber signal is a stop signal. And then after amber, it'll go back to red. The traffic light system, the normal basic traffic light system, seems to work well most of the time. And that's the problem. Most of the time it works well. So what happens when it doesn't work well? What happens then? That's when the filter lights jump into action. So what is a filter arrow? Well, it's a green arrow that will either be facing straight or it'll be facing towards the left or towards the right. And when that green arrow comes on, it means that we can proceed even if the main traffic light is on red. So I'm going to go for a short drive and I'm going to show you a few examples. So I'm going to be turning left at these traffic lights and although the lights are red, I can see already that we have an extra box. So there's one, two, three, there's four lights, which tells me that the filter arrow may come on, it may not come on. Basically that there is a filter arrow on these traffic lights. If the filter arrow does not come on and the whole green light comes on, I can still go. So now the filter arrow has not come on and I can proceed. I'm going to be turning right at these traffic lights here. Once again, I can see that there's an extra box towards the right. 
Now, the filter arrow has not come on. So, I would treat this as normal traffic lights. So, I'm going in the middle, wait for the lights to change red, and I can turn. The filter arrow doesn't always come on. So, you don't have to wait. If I'm turning right, it doesn't mean that I have to wait for my green arrow to come on because it may never come on. Usually, there's a sensor fitted on top and the filter arrow will only come on when it senses that there are a few cars already waiting to turn right. Therefore, the arrow will come on, allow those traffic to clear. I'm going to so I'm going to be approaching the same lights again and we'll see whether the filter arrow comes on this time. So I've got one vehicle in front of me. There's no one behind me so it may come on, it may not come on. And you can see that there is a sensor on top of the traffic light which will sense how much vehicles there are. So the filter arrows come on it's red for everybody, but left for the people who wish to turn left. So I'm going to turn right this time. And we'll see if the filter arrow comes on here. Once again, I've got the same ambulance in front of me, but uh, there's no one behind me at the moment. Ah, there is now. So hopefully the filter arrow will come on this time. No, it hasn't come on. Some filter traffic lights have, as I mentioned earlier, sensors and they will sense how much traffic there is and if there's a lot of traffic the filter arrow will come on and if there's sort of one car the filter arrow will not come on. Now some other types of filter traffic lights they are programmed to come on at certain times we've got a filter arrow here so I can turn left even though the main traffic light was red as I said some have uh, sensors others are just programmed to come on at the certain times of the day We're approaching a set of traffic lights here. I think these have got a filter on them. They're all changed red. Now, on stopping at these lights, I can see that there's not three circles, there's actually four. One, two, three, four. So, one of them will be a filter arrow. It may be a filter arrow for going straight. It could be a filter arrow for going right. And if I look on the, this, in fact, my arrows just come on there. I nearly missed that myself. So it just shows that when you're at these traffic lights, don't just daydream. Have a look, have a look how many circles there are. If there's three circles, then you know that there'll be no filter arrow. If there's four circles, then expect the filter arrow to come on. It could come on in the direction you want to travel, or it may come on in a different direction. Well, that's the filter arrows for you. I really hope you found this video beneficial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and do share with at least one person, which will help me to expand the channel 
and of course make more videos for you guys thank you very much for your time take care bye bye